A mad dash for people looking to get vaccinated has started to slow down and it is leading to vaccine waste. One Valley Pediatric Clinic is noticing the drop. Fox 10's Danielle Miller is live now to explain more. Danielle. So many places to get a vaccination now across the valley. There's clinics, there's pharmacies, there's state run vaccination sites. This clinic that we spoke with today, they're seeing a dramatic drop in those looking to get a vaccination. Unfortunately, all of the vaccine that is unused is being thrown in the trash. There's some still hesitancy out there because it's just newly approved. Um, we think maybe some parents are um, waiting until, you know, kids get out of school. Kids 12 years old and up were cleared to get vaccinated. Dara Taylor with Pleasant Pediatrics tells us they were giving about 100 first doses at each of their six locations. Now only 10 to 15 per day. For Pfizer specifically, um, once we puncture the vial, um, we can get six to seven doses out of each vial. Once that's punctured and open, those doses have to be used within six hours. So unfortunately, if we don't have enough patients to give those to, they do have to be wasted. And so we just keep track of that and communicate with the state and let them know um, what that wastage is. Taylor says the clinic offers Moderna to those who are qualified because it has a longer shelf life, hopefully leading to less waste. Those are okay 12 hours after the vial is punctured. Um, and so we usually get about um, 10 to 11 doses out of each vial from that. The clinic also opened up their vaccinations to the general public because of its large supply, something Angel is happy to take advantage of. So it was easy for me. Convenient, I'm sure. Yeah, oh yeah, very convenient, very convenient because I mean, it was just a couple freeways and I'm here. I get off and I'm right here. And a few events happening throughout the valley to uh, possibly incentivize those to get vaccinated. Uh, one of the biggest ones we've seen so far, it's going to be at Chase Field with the d -backs. June 5th. That's a vaccination event there at the field. We're told that uh, 12 and older people who get vaccinated will have a chance to uh, be on the field, run the bases, take a picture on the field, as well as get a ticket to an upcoming d -backs game. Reporting live, Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.